Hey guys, welcome back to Aspelov. My name's Twitchy and we are deep within some sort of a robot hellhole of a research lab. We have been uh, trying to escape from a crazy AI and some ghosty spirits. Uh, maybe we'll be able to see one of them out here. Uh, but literally just now as we walked around a corner, we saw a giant doggy beast thing. Uh, I mean like four or five times the size of a human ripping apart one of these uh, bad guys here. But we need to try and make our way through an airlock. I thought it was this airlock here, but it turns out it was not the case. So we're going to have to go for a little bit more of an exploration. That's no a biggie, of course. Just to be sure that I do know where I'm going, I'm going to backtrack quickly and make sure that the, uh, the um, airlock that I'm looking for is not down uh, this way. Okay, the airlock is exactly here. All right, this is this is what I thought. I literally just walked through all this area here. Uh, l last time we found a guy crucified up on a wall. It was uh, pretty horrific, actually, but we took his hand. Uh, it turns out that it was very useful. Uh, I'm still just walking around with it in my pocket as if that's normal. But, you know, I today woke up with an alien prodding in my eyeballs, giving me some sort of weird spectral powers. So, uh, you know, what, what's walking around with a crucified ghost hand in my pocket all about? I should point out that the crucified ghost was in many bits and still was able to complain. Mythology Research, Note 1. Hey. Sarah has shown me a lot of the myths surrounding the ancient objects we have recovered. Just like assumed, most of these stories correspond only a little with the true events of the past. Giants and fire giants are very much like the descriptions, but the Vanir and uh, Acer gods differ a lot from their noble fairy tale versions. Why, well, so you've walked into Some them, have you? Are not even close to as gruesome as they are in real life. Oh, man. Uh, more of these stories later. Oh, oh, gruesome. Things are gruesome. I'm not, I'm not about gruesome, you know. Look at this pulsating tendril of rootishness. Uh, anyway, that, that, that's weird. They've gone on about roots quite a lot in this game. Okay, let's just walk out, no problem. Uh, oh, look at this, 2734. Let's remember that number. It might be important. Two digit numbers have been very, uh, not two digit, four digit numbers have been very important so far. 2734, hopefully. It will just be a door lock somewhere, and we'll wander through it, and it will all be great. Okay, what are we going to get up ahead of us, man? Why Why have we got darkened corridors with flashing lights? I mean, surely even AI need to use their camera sensors, right? Why, why would you have such a terrible way of doing things, this lean mechanic? I still don't think it's actually that great. Uh, main reason being is I seem to be able to walk up behind the uh, the, the nasty bad guys uh, without really any true worries about being spotted. So when when I'm hidden behind a corner and looking out like this, I, I feel like it's not necessary. I feel like it's not, ne not necessary. I'm still getting pretty horrific like alien vibes from from this game i just, I just gotta say i gotta say uh, if you're not aware and you are enjoying this i've done a playthrough of alien isolation hopefully i put a card in the top right corner do go and see that it's very similar vein as this moving on let's go and see what's going on here oh no it's the the windows blue screen of death the horror the horror oh wait no no actually that's not that bad uh all right let's go there's, uh, there's doorways up there. I still cannot drop. Like, look, that, that is that is all right. Maybe double my my height, but uh, like I should still, as a person, be able to sort of lean over the edge, swing my legs down, lower myself down, and not do myself a damage just from dropping down. Oh look, we got a name over there, Borcorp. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, cannot go through this door right here. I would like to, but it turns out it's not gonna let me. Look, even this has got a bunch of runes on it. Okay, oh, I wish that I um, I spoke more ancient Viking Norse-ish, um, but it turns out no. Oh, yeah, yeah, come Good look into the into the elevator shaft. I like this. How deep? How deep does it go? Oh, oh, look, there's a giant root in it. There is a giant root in it. That's crazy. So we got a little bit of a message from some soldiers a little while ago talking about how they travelled through the roots. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Um, all I know is that troubles. Oh, I think we're about to find out, guys. Are we? Are we gonna go walking through? Why would I even? Why would I even get close? Look, there's a there's a, a thing over here. Let's use the elevator, right? Let's let's 
<laughs> I don't want to go through there. Why would you make me do that? Like, honestly, there is not a, there's not a situation where I would be like, hey, this robot's woken me up. We've got, like, a bit of a weird vision thing on the go. But, hey, you know what? Even though I've seen all these myths and ghosties around, I'm just going to go walk through this weird tunnel portal thing. All right, fine, let's do it. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. Where are we going? I, uh, uh. Hi. Hello. Wait, is anybody here? Please stop. I don't want things to go wrong anymore. Where are we? Where? I see the sky. We're outside. We're free, right? That That's obviously what this means. We're, we're not in some horrific other world where the um, Asgardian gods are actually out to get us. No, no, no. We've made it out into the real world, right? 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 This is... This is Earth, humanity, all the wonderful things that I remember from my previous existence. Because I totally remember things from my previous existence. I, is this life now? Is this what it's all about? Oh my god. Why have we got giant spiders? I don't want to see giant spiders. <laughs> I like this place, guys. I, I got to level with you. I am not feeling it. Uh, we got some light over there and light over there. I don't know which one we're supposed to go to first. Let's just walk down the middle, right? There's a pile of boulder here. I'm not sure why it would take this specific shape, but, you know, that that's a thing. Why is this so bright? I've got a feeling we're going to die. I've got a feeling we're going to die. I'm going to walk into the bright zone, and, um, and that spider's going to get me, right? No? No, he's not coming to get me yet. Okay, that's fine. Do we see anything in the in the floor that we need to know about? There are, like, swells and stuff, but I think generally we're okay there. Uh, there's a thing up there. Look, what is that? Can we, can we get up there? I'm going to try it. I should imagine I'm going to get invisible walled. Yeah, okay. Look at this floating bit of sand. Crazy. Okay, well, obviously we're finding the, uh, the broken edges of the game now, so we're just supposed to walk down this way. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop poking. Seriously, those those spiders, um, I don't... I... Uh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I've, st I've still not found any way to attack stuff. I mean, call me crazy, but I'm surely I was... Why? What? Ah! And tore my leg off! My arm? Tore my something off! Oh, shit, what am I doing? What are you doing? Come on. Just a little, just just get me there, man. Just get me there. I mean, wherever there is, it's got to be better than here, right? Hello? Hi. Me? Oh, one arm. No. Oh, look at it down there. If I would have been five seconds late, the demons would have torn you apart. Yeah, I know this. Odin spared your life, but left you broken. Uh, as That's is he. Because I fixed you. Oh. No, you know what? I made you better. I don't like you. What what have you done to me, man? Remarkable, isn't it? What? Kind of. Actually, that is kind no, of. No, no, you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, uh, you need to calm yourself, buddy. Okay, let's see here. Speech should be fine. I've prepared the tissue. I'm not. I'm not overly keen with this guy. Check up as well. And the arm. How does it feel? It feels like someone ripped my arm off. When it's bonding to you. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Let's laugh at the crazy guy. <laughs> Please let me go. Anyway, <laughs> I have much to prepare. You uh, did he jab me with some more, some more anesthetic or something? Because I just like passed out without even thinking about it. I was just. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Look at her. It's Alice. The injuries she suffered that survived. Yeah, I'm Alice. Hi. It's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Ooh. Yeah, what's going on? By Odin. My By Odin's voice. tasty beard. Yes. What? Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice. And your arm. Who are yeah. you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson, the CEO of Borkorp. It's all your fault. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> what? She's, uh, she's up on the surface, well. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. The How do I get up? Down there are happening up here as well, and it's getting worse by the minute. What How do we fix it? To me, I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. 
Mm-hmm. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Yeah, tell me about it. Your new arm holds great power. Oh yeah, like my face. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's uh -huh. based on ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Yerngaper. You brought, so sorry, what? Uh, a hand with you. Yeah. Use the Yerngaper to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Wait, <laughs> Now try it. Scan the hand on the table, and then use it downstairs, on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask. Yeah, you're right, you're it is. You're not taking this lightly. Well, uh, and I have to? I'll tell you more as you go. I just... I'm, I'm very suspicious. So far, everyone who's... Look at this. This looks like a torture chair. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like you've been trying to, like, do surgery, if I'm to be honest with you. All right, let's pick up this hand. Oh, gosh. So that that's the security rune for one, right? I, I, I'm going I'm gonna, to uh, see it as a one, if that's all right. We're going we're gonna to work like that. I'm also going to quickly hit this. Hole. Hi, how you doing? Why have you got this here? That's my big question, is why have you got that? Right, is this the one that I'm supposed to open? He did say downstairs, no, locked door. Okay, fair enough. I would have liked to have been... You know, for how savagely the end of my arm was ripped off. Not a lot of blood. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not what I want, this one. It didn't... It didn't do a thing. Look, it's not... It's not glowing. What are we supposed to take from that? What 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 does that mean? Oh look, there's a little dude there. So you've got like two arms and a head and torso. Yeah, okay, all right. All right anyway, enough, <laughs> enough looking around. Let's go downstairs. Let's try this uh, thing in the doorway. Hi, I need clearance. Why um, why has this place got the same door locking mechanisms, etc., as a... what? Why is she losing connection? All right, that's a three. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. Okay, I mean, like, totally, I'm down with it. So, I mean, this definitely looks like a one, and that definitely looks like a three. I should imagine we're going to see a backwards two somewhere. D is this where some of the numbers came from? I don't know. I, I only know that our numbers are, like, Arabic numerals, something like that. I, I, I get that zero is a, as an Indian invention, something like that. Uh, this is, like, memory from years ago. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Huh? You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Bifrost? It's Bifrost system. What's the Bifrost system? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, does that have roots in Norse or is it the other way around? I mean, when the Vikings designed their number system, where, where did they reach for? Where did they reach for? That arm is, like, pretty sexy. Hey, gotta say. All right, let's come down here and look around. Zoom. Anything, anything to go with here? Anything? Ooh. Is your first obstacle. Well, this light. A service hatch that oh. can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. I am an engineer. However, Young Gripper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. Young Gripper. First, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. Okay, so it says I can pulse. Oh, is this going to be an attack? Uh, okay, so we've got no power there. To do the all right, let's go. Let's go and try. It's like, nit. Listen to it, nit. So we come up here and we use our newfound powers to get through the door. I was expecting us to have to swipe our hand through the door. Um, hello, what have we got here? I'm oh, expecting a recharge point. I'm not sure what a recharge point would look like. Is it this? <clears throat> that right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Okay. Insert it in the arm. Get back to the service hatch and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. All right, so Don't there's. Oh wow, look at it! Power okay. With the power station on the wall before you move on. Don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the. Okay, I assume that's out that way. Uh, because I don't see one in here. All right, let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Learning game mechanics. Need to run rather than walk. Okay, where's the power recharge station on the wall? I assume something like this. Ah, oh, I just hold it, do I? Wait, what? I don't, I don't know what that did. Okay, oh, well, we pulsed that. That's good. Can I now recharge it again? Okay, so because I've only got one crystal, is there a way of looking at the power I've got in my heart? Okay, because I've only got one crystal... 
I can only get one charge. Is that is that what we're saying? All right, there we go. We we have learned some stuff. Upgrades for Jan Graper. You can activate the weapon inside it. Nice. A, like a, a weapon would surely be helpful. I've got a feeling that this game is going to become slightly less horror and more action as the game goes on. I mean, that that's fine. That's how these games work out. We all know this. We all know. This. But it would be nice if we could keep the horror I thing going. Above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jan Graper. Yeah. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Wow. That won't work. That, is that not how it works? Okay, so maybe we can't... Okay, so toggle uh, toggle aim slash cancel charge is right click. Okay, all right. Well, you didn't tell me that. I just did a an unspecified burst. Okay, that that works a little better. That works a little better. Let's get another recharge up my way. Turn my sight off. Turn it back on. Turn it off. Let it charge. Get up. See what we're doing here. Okay, these uh, these area aware atrium power cells your life might be depending on not running out yeah that'd be great there is another larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times this Collect one the power cells anytime you want to use them activate your bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected okay thanks let's put them in there i mean to be fair it's right on my arm why why would i need to do the other way. All right, these are the these must be the big power discs, right? Okay, we did that. That that's the thing. Oh look, there's more over there. Oh more. Any more? Any more? Okay, display the system. Uh, by doing this, we've got five of those. These must be like quick charges, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, audio logs we don't need. Missions and uh, okay. All right. Yeah. This five to charge up these. All right. That's beautiful. Okay. Thanks. Let's uh, not need that. This is look. This has got a two on it. This has got a two on it. What a. Bleh. No, this is not for you. All right, we must, must be on our way to find another area, right? Let's keep it rolling, keep it moving, and see if we can find some outside. Look at, wait. This looks remarkably like the other place we just left. Is this like real water? It looks like it might be real water, as opposed to the goopy mess we were getting in the, uh, the AI's area. Yeah? Can I, can I get underneath the water and let it droop on me? that oh it's some sort of like holding system for it okay that's fine i would have been yeah it would have been nice to get a little shower you know you will find a door that is locked with an rfid signature you don't have yep but now that won't be a problem for you it's Reckon. the same as the earlier electronics but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse yep. use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door okay we've done that the burst to get through ah <laughs> So I was about to say, look, we've got to click it when we went up there, but my arm just fully took control and clicked at the right time. Uh, so there was a blue spinny circle, and you needed to click it when it got up to the top. All right, that's that's no problem. That is no problem. My arm, like, legit did that all on its own. <laughs> like, my arm IRL. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. That was crazy. All right, let's carry on up this ladder here and see what we can find at the top of it. Hopefully, it's just all quiet and niceness. This entire... This entire little section here, this entire episode, in fact, has just been okay. walking around. Be Everything seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, Look at it. Our world, Midgard, yep. is sharing its existence with eight other worlds. Midgard is like the material plane. By something known in the legends as Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absolute. Absolutely. Oh, at the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. The spirit. To control the Absolute and our systems, causing an emergency override. Oh no! The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But Henrik lost them, didn't he? Traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you and wouldn't survive going through another route. Why? What's up? You are literally our only hope of stopping this. But why Without can't he go case, through the roots? The roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will... Terra. Wait, Henrik, 
I'm missing connection. Sarah? Oh no. Listen. You listen. We know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment the route spread further into Midgard. So find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Okay. Please hurry. All right, so we're going Niflheim. Okay, that that's fine. I can do that. Look, there's a there's stuff on the wall over there. Not that we can see it. But there is stuff on the wall. Over there. Is there a way of getting over that? I, I I kind of feel like this place is. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm out of charge. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try it again. Uh, out of charge. So let's click one, two. Seriously? Okay. All right. It takes two charges to do that. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, I will. Thanks. Oh, oh, that's cool. All right. So we get infinite goes at this. I'm just gonna click it at the right time because you know me. All right. I'm, I'm actually surprised. Two for two there. That's that's cool. I was expecting to not. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. What have we got here? This looks like another recharge disc. That's pretty tasty. Uh, what's going on over here? There's a lot of sparks and stuff that I'm worried about. Can we can we look through the door? It looks like it's just a bunch of broken stuff over there, so we're going to go through here. And, uh, hey, let me through. <laughs> when all else fails, click the button. It, it seems to be the way forwards. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. When all else fails, click the button. Okay, let's turn around and see what we can do. All right, another one. Um, we can just press the button, though, this time. We're about to run out of charge, so I'm going to take a moment. Okay, moment take. Wow, I mean, most of a moment taken out. A little bit of a stretch, and uh, but to make sure everything was good. All right, we've got no way of breaking in through there. Let's once again. Oh, I can't. I can't see the door mechanism. Okay, that that's fine. I suppose that is fine. I was kind of hoping that would just be a continued system that we get to use. Oh, look, there's another way over there. Is this another door? So I'm guessing ones we can get through with the RFIDs, uh, but these threes are more tightly controlled. Ah, uh, you don't want to let me through? Why would you not let me through? Not very nice, if you ask me. All right. Ooh. Let's go through. Let's go and have a look. I mean, I'm still kind of on edge, but I feel a lot less on edge walking around this area than I than I did walking around the um, the AI area. Is it literally just a dead end? Okay, cool. Take that. Okay. Uh, oh, look, we can look through one of the vents for once. Uh -huh. oh, nice, nice. Doesn't normally let us do that. It's normally like this, look. Uh, all right, let's go up here. I assume we're making our way beyond that door. Okay, that's also all just full up. Um, well that that's an orange colour. Let's do a recharge whilst we're waiting and walking along here. Hopefully everything will work out just well for us. There's a bit of a drop down. I'm gonna standardly complain about how this hurts. <sighs> why? Just why? Yeah, I don't see anyone bad that way or this way. I'm gonna start by going this way. Yeah, maybe. Uh, is this the door that we just got past? This is probably the door that we just got past. Like, nope, you're not allowed to do that. I'm okay with that. Okay, let's let's get a recharge, shall we? Q, no, tab, Q, E. Thanks. Just just to make sure that we've got everything we need. Not sure if we're going to find any more of these at any point soon, but I'm hoping we do. Okay, so we should hopefully be finding a nice little root structure over this way. There is the root, right? That is the way out of here. But I'm hoping somewhere we've got ourselves a little bit of a soul shard place. That would be nice. Well, an eight, an eight, an eight. That's a lot, a lot way above uh, two or three. Okay, I don't see any way of making a save, so we are going to have to throw ourselves in there. Yeah, I just went for a bit of a look around, looking for the soul stone. Doesn't look like it exists, so we're going to throw ourselves back in here. Whoa, we're off. I don't see what is so deadly about this whole like route travel thing. Like Hemlick. Uh, was supposed to come and get us. I don't know where he got us from. He didn't. He didn't say where, where we were actually based when the demons started ripping off our, our legs and stuff. Okay, we are landing. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but here we are, the ice realm, Niflheim.
Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go and press this and get to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to carry on. Try and find the artifact in the cold area. Try and not get eaten by ice giants because I hear that is a thing in North mythology. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.